I say, this is Quick Looks with Ray. And Josh. And Timmy. Yeah. All right, and we're here looking at Yonka Dong Country Return. <laughs> all right, Yonka Dong. That's terrible control. All right. It's all uh, so, yeah, I'm using the Wii, uh, holding the Wii Remote horizontally here. I got a game already started. I'm going to kill myself so if we want to play this game. So this game's, this game's pretty good, but, like, the problem with it is, is the controls. Are terrible. Are pretty bad. The yeah. game looks so good. Everything about the game is so awesome, except for the controls. The game's also pretty hard. Yeah. So, uh, if it wasn't for the controls, I would probably play it. Yeah. Well, can you not so, use the GameCube for it? So, no, nope. it's only Wii Remote or Wii Remote and Nunchuck, mm -hmm. and both of them are stupid, and I'll tell you why. So, right. Um, right here when we get inside the map here. So, uh, you got Donkey Kong here, and you, you jump with the 2 button, and you grab stuff with the 1 button. You shake the Wii Remote to bang on the ground, which is fine. Uh, you hold down, and you shake the Wii Remote to blow, which is a mechanic to blow plants and stuff. Um, but you hold right or left, and you shake to roll. So, like, it just makes it so imprecise to, like, constantly be rolling or or knowing when your roll will kick in because you don't you didn't shake hard enough or bullshit like that. And also, it's great when, you know, you're playing a platformer while well, you have to shake a Wii remote. It's pretty aggravating. Yeah, like, constantly shaking it, it's kind of messed up. Um, it's Take just, my bananas! It's just too imprecise. That's the, that's the main problem. It's too imprecise. So, yeah, the story's like these Tiki dolls. Like, yeah, so er earlier we skipped all that, but like Tiki dolls are hypnotizing the animal life. Uh, see? I'm a ukulele banjo, Jimmy Jig African. And people are like, oh god, we're taking bananas. And, you know, Donkey Kong likes his bananas, so there you go. Why do they always take his bananas? I just don't know if fucking like that. Because he likes his bananas. Like, do these bitches eat bananas? Nope. They're just like, hey, let's fuck with Donkey Kong and take bananas. Yeah. They did Good bring thing. back some great stuff in this game, though. Yeah, so they have um, the cart racing, uh, the cart like fish levels and shit. And in every level, I think every level, they have Kong letters. They have Kong letters, and yeah. And these puzzle pieces. Are they new? I think they're new. Uh, you collect the puzzle. I think there were already puzzle pieces in the original one. I don't remember, so. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's been like 15 years since I played. I'm pretty sure Donkey Kong Country had puzzle letters. Oh. How many moles are these fucking bananas? What? Fuck that guy. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Uh, I think he just reached up and uh, did something inappropriate to Donkey Kong. That's right. So I'll phase two here. Looks like a boss? Yeah, this is a boss. Oh. Uh, DPS. Kill it with DPS. Exactly. Of fire. One button. Oh, I lost Diddy Kong! Also, Diddy Kong ha is like your sidekick, and it's also like an extra boost to health or something. He's like your sidekick. Yeah, well, he has two other hearts. Oh my god. He has two other hearts, yeah. But what's more important is he has a jetpack, which is kind of important. It allows you to hover. It does allow you to hover. Fucking nice. Would be nice. Oh my god. So many fucking moles. I'm not sure I want to eat those bananas afterwards or not. Heh, <laughs> because the moles are like bathing in it. I know. That's why you didn't eat them, but at least they have skin feels on them, yeah. And like, I don't know what's up with Donkey Kong Jump, but like, it kind of bothers me. He's way, he just feel like he weighs so much. <laughs> the control, well he does. And the controller is so awkward. When I played this game, it was just awkward. Yeah. Like, I was, I was pissed. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh man. Need that heart, I guess. Oh, oh god. That was almost terrible. That was uh, terrible. At least they're like, like generous to you. At least they are giving me a fuckload of hearts. Oh, fuck. 
far. What? Oh my god. Oh. No! You got great! Now I gotta do all that shit over again. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. And that's Donkey Kong Country okay. Turn. Terrible controls. No checkpoints in boss battles. Happy the game's back. Sad that it's uh, come back like this because it sucks. Yeah, I mean, I mean the game. Suck. The game is great. If you, it's fun. If you ignore it's the just, controls, it's kind of hard. If you ignore the controls and like, yeah, the it. controls are the worst part about it. Though. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's the only bad part about the game. Like, I, I mean, like granted, that's a huge part about the game that's terrible. Yeah, I mean, would say like bad controls that, that that can make even the best game really really shitty. Yeah, I mean in a platformer especially. I mean Super Meat Boy has great controls, and that's the main thing on it that it's amazing. Well, that's not the main thing. Yeah, I mean everything else is awesome, but like if it had terrible controls, that game would be even more frustrating than it is. To be fair, Comic Jump had terrible controls. It's still a great experience. Yeah, but Comic Jumper, the gameplay is terrible. It's true, I agree. I mean, everything, still a great story. everything, at the very least, like, the game is mad in Comic Jumper. But the game is, really generous. The game is good. This game is good. It's just the controls are terrible. Which makes gameplay terrible. I mean, the platforming's fine in sections that don't require you to have specific timing. So I feel like that's one of the worst parts. Oh, God. Well, that's a great way to start. That's fucking terrible. Oh my god, stupid fucking. That's uh, fucking terrible. At least they're really generous about giving you hearts in this game, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, well, in this boss battle. This boss battle, yeah, I mean. Because I'm quite. I'm thinking you put a lot of leather all up in there. Then you I see a heart like maybe twice in this battle. Yeah. Sometimes you're generous. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh, that was almost terrible. So, oh, fuck. That was awesome. There they are. I was like, where the fuck are the hearts? every boss, like, the tiki dude will come out of him, and then you get to a chance to wait. This is actually the only place they should have added the shake, right here, because it feels awesome. Oh, I fucked it up, though! God damn it! Oh. That's terrible. How'd you fuck it up? You're not supposed to shake until he gets to the tiki dude. And I raised up like this. It's caused me to shake. Ball. Nice speed to press. But yeah, you shake and you hit him like 50,000 times. Yeah, and like every time you shake, it's like, pow, 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 pow. it's like, it, it's very, uh, very quick cut, hit punch in the face. Like, really cool. So yeah, get to go to the forest levels. So maybe we'll show you some regular levels here. Um, yeah. I definitely am reminiscent about, like, the old Dark Hulk Country, though. I mean, like, it's yeah. definitely, like, I can, well, 
I was very hit or miss on the old Donkey Kong Country. I mean, it looked nice, but uh, I thought it kind of played terribly. Like the old one? Yeah. Man, that was my childhood right there. It was mine too, but like, I just never got into it. I don't know. I played that game for the way this way. And I love the music. That is, talk about good music, man. Yeah, I mean, there's good music here too. Yeah. Oh, shit. It has a lot of remixes on some stuff uh, that you remember. That's what Nintendo does, man. Fuck. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. A lot of collectibles in this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basic platforming, jumping on stuff. Hovering over stuff. Hovering over stuff, blowing things. Well. The basic platforming Donkey Kong's blowing things. He is blowing. If he were blowing things, we'd have a talk. We'd have a good time. Uh, no. They have a bad talk. <coughs> yeah. They have a bad touch. Piggy! That's terrible. Um, it's just amazing. <coughs> yeah, man, that's a whole, like... That's a whole if the controls game. were better, I would enjoy this game. But, yeah, but I... Since they're not. You don't but since know. the game, I find virtually unplayable. Oh, God! That's funny. That was terrible. <laughs> Since I find this game virtually unplayable, I I I give it like a four out of ten. A four out of ten. What the fuck, bro? Only because I'm glad. The only reason we got a four, man, is because like. Because it makes you want to play the original. Because I'm glad they finally came out with Donkey Kong games. That's like saying that I'm glad they came out with the Back to the Future game for the NES. Speaking of which. Uh... Here, like, the next week or so, the, uh... Telltale. Yeah, Telltale's, uh, version of Back to the Future of the Adventure Games coming Oh, out. yeah, that's right. Well, it'd be uh, pointless it's... jumping in the generic guy that no one's ever fucking heard of before. No, it's all the characters from Back to the Future. Yeah, it's yeah, Marty, no. and, Marty it, and the it's Professor like... and everyone else, man. I heard, like, it's Professor when he was, like, in high school or something? Yeah, it's, uh, the, the first chapter's gonna be about, like, Marty goes back in time to see the Professor in high school. Um, oh fun. my god! It's fucking terrible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna beat this level and then we're gonna call it quick. Oh yeah, man, like, there's a hole. There's a hole, it's some Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey Kong! Fuck. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. As quick! Like, yeah, exactly. Let's see how many times I can die. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really hold that much nostalgia for Donkey Kong, but. I can see why people will like the Rick and Bobby. I love the crap out of DK. Yeah, but you also liked uh, Banjo Kazooie. There's nothing wrong with Banjo Kazooie. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That was all fucking skill. That was all like <laughs> that was saving luck. your ass. Luck. I actually did not know that. Well, yeah, we could obviously tell you are about to like. I was about to laugh my ass off and get raped. I was about to, uh, I was about to be crazy. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff like that. Like, yeah, I the mean, background will interact with the foreground a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of great innovative things. It's just, if I could play them, it'd be great. Yeah. That's the main problem with the game. It's the only problem with the game. It's Kong letters for you. Like, I'm glad they brought Kong letters back. I'm glad you can collect shit. Like, I'm glad there's actually stuff you can do. I'm glad there's a story. I'm glad, like, they didn't try to do too much with it. That's awesome. That was fun. That was failure. I also like the fact that with the checkpoints, you don't have to collect all that dumb crap again. Yeah, that would that kind of would have been terrible. I mean, you still, like... You still have to, if you miss it in the first one, you gotta, like... That's funny. <laughs> terrible. How do you get that Kong letter? Right. You're supposed to get it the first jump. Oh. Yeah, it's bananas or Kong letter. The choice is yours. That's fucking terrible. Or you can just oh, swing okay. and then go back. Oh, okay, I see. I was about to say it. He doesn't explode. Down the boy. So you just get that one. Oh my god. Hey, look, another Kong letter. There you go. Spell that Kong. Donkey Dong. Conky Dong. Conky Dong. <laughs> 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 
bananas. But I definitely feel like I'm like definitely looks like the SNES version and break. And Whoa. we got extra life. Which you like lost five of them. Exactly. I only lost two lives this round. But I got to spell Kong. Yeah, he did. You spoke Kong, but you got two yeah, puzzle got two puzzle pieces. Yep. So that's all you can't cut your turns. Um, I, that's great. Four out of ten. It's good. I'll it's, give it a seven out of ten. I was like, it's good. It just the controls is what makes it. Like, sad. not playing it, I'd probably give this game a nine out of ten. But at, since I played it before and I realized how terrible the controls are and made it unplayable, I, I gotta give it at least a four or five. Yeah, like I'm gonna rent and try it and try out the controls for myself. Because yeah. Hearing that they're bad controls from someone else doesn't really mean that they're bad controls for me because I've played some pretty slippery and pretty shitty controls for platformers. Before I'm just saying, there. when like you have a platformer and the whole point is to have these accurate type jumps, you but you have to shake your controller while making these accurate type jumps, that makes no goddamn sense to me. You just gotta learn how to do it, man. But like, but shaking is not responsive. But like, you're enough. like, all right. You're gonna hold the controller like this and have accurate, uh -huh. like, really type. Alright, we're gonna get this for the camera. Alright, so you have the controller, right? So you're just like, alright, platform, I'll hold it like this. Try shaking and make accurate <laughs> jumps in the controller. And sometimes the shaking won't act right. And be sure, and, you know, down the T bed's great too, so you gotta do that to blow, which is a problem. Right. So yeah. you gotta shake to do this, and then you gotta run up and get back on the thing, you gotta shake, and if you're pressing any buttons, you might be rolling. And you never it's know, very since it's emotion based, you never know if it'll exactly go off exactly when you want uh, it to. That's a good point. And in a precision jumper, that is like key to like platforming. And we should imagine make it like playing Super Meat Boy and then like your your slide because you have the slide up walls. Right. Imagine that not you don't know exactly if that'll work every time. Imagine is, like you had the wall would, jump by shaking pretty, the wall. That would boat. suck a lot. That would suck. But yeah, uh, this is Donkey Kong Country Turns. Uh, it's all right. You should check it out. Uh, I think you should check it out and try it for yourself. The controls didn't work for me. Maybe the controls will work for you. Or I don't hate myself enough to you know continue playing it. Continue playing this game. Or I do hate myself. I do say I don't hate myself enough, but you know I have played some really terrible games. He fires in spurts if he shoots, shoots ya. ya. It's gonna no. quick looks. That was terrible. And yeah.